Hello Aries and welcome to your April 2018 reading. I want to go ahead and get started by looking at what is in your headspace here for April of 2018. Okay, so I see that you guys are at a stalemate here in your headspace with the Two of Swords. You're unable to make a decision. And I'm going to go ahead and um, clarify these cards for you guys so I will get more information for you, okay? Um, but yeah, you guys are unable to make some sort of decision here. So you're at, I feel like a lot of you guys are at a crossroads. Some of you are just turning a blind eye to certain situations in your life. In your heart space here, you've got the Six of Swords. So you're leaving shaky waters and entering more calm waters. So I feel like in your heart space here, you're starting to feel more peace. And you feel like you have hope at last. Hope at last. Okay? You're starting to see the light. In your recent past. You've got the High Priestess, so very intuitive, very connected with your intuition here in your recent past. And also, I feel like you you were guided by a higher power here. So listening to your intuition and being guided by it and by, you know, the universe and your spirit guides. Um, for your near future, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, so you've got new opportunity here for growth whether it be career or otherwise. I see um, really positive, positive energy here for you in the future of new opportunities here. And it's actually a blessing from the universe. Your advice here for April is mother of swords. So use your, your logic, okay? Don't allow your emotions to outrule your logic. Um, and just look at things from, uh, just be very perceptive, okay? Be very perceptive and look at things from a very logical point of view. And if you're doing business matters, make sure you are, you know, like I said, very observant, very perceptive. And, um, I mean, the mother of swords is a tough businesswoman here, okay? <gasps> Let's clarify this headspace. So you've got the Sun of Pentacles here. So I feel like you guys here in April will be having some sort of crossroads, some sort of uh, decision to make in regards to work here with the Sun of Pentacles and the Two of Swords together. I feel like this represents a job offer or somebody recognizing your hard work. I'm really feeling like it's a new job offer, but I feel like you're having some indecision here. Either you're having some indecision with this new job offer or you have more than one job offer and you need to make a choice between the two or you know i'm getting different messages here or you have blocked emotions in regards to a new job offer here okay or some new offer i'm really picking up that it's in job for most of you though let's clarify your heart space here in your heart space so you have the death card i see that there's something coming to an end or you know there's some sort of transformation coming going on here and i feel like that transformation here is um leaving like a more darker place and not necessarily dark but just like i said leaving shaky waters and headed to more clear calm waters so it's a huge transition here, and I feel like it's due to some sort of mental clarity here. It's like you're using logic to figure out a solution to some situation here. And it's funny because that's actually your advice to be, you know, to use your logic, and you actually are doing so. So you're you're on a good path. Everything looks like it's, you know, cohesive and in alignment here for you. Let's clarify your recent past. Okay, you've got the Daughter of Cups here with the High Priestess. That's really interesting. So the Daughter of Cups could represent um, either news of an engagement or marriage. Or just some sort of happy news here for some of you. For some of you in regards to career, it's a it's a beginning of a new career or a new course. Okay? And usually this is like, you know, artistic. You see all the color in there in the water. It's like an artistic career. Not always artistic, but usually. For some of you, there was like some sort of I feel like some of you got some sort of love letter. <laughs> or just maybe just a social invitation. Okay, it's a general reading, so there's different messages coming through here. Either way, I feel like you guys are trusting your inner voice and finding your balance here, especially with your emotions and your recent past. And I feel like it's, you know, because you're char you're trusting your intuition now. You're trusting your intuition, trusting your inner voice, and being guided by a higher power here. Now let's go ahead and clarify your future card. Wow. 
Wow, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So financial stability, financial independence here with this new job offer, new beginning and career. And I'm sorry, I totally said Nine of Pentacles and I meant Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, um, so it's still the same, same message though with this card. You know, it's just... I feel like there's some sort of like abundance coming in here for you, some sort of fulfillment. Um, and I just feel like there's some sort of like energy here around family, like establishments, like establishing family stability through abundance and, and ha or just having this new, new stream of, of money coming in, new money coming in. Um, for some of you, you're retiring or, or you're thinking ahead of time about retiring. Retiring. Some of you are going to win the lottery here. That's not for all of you, but some of you. So I see a huge improvement in finances here in your near future, whether it's through winning the lottery or through a new job opportunity, a promotion. Either way, I see an improvement in finances. Let's clarify your advice. Wow, that's so hilarious. The nine of pentacles. <laughs> Your advice is to make sure you gain that financial stability and that financial independence. So coupled together, your advice here is to make sure you can stand on your own and you're self-sufficient, okay guys? That doesn't mean you have to be, you know, a strong, independent, you know, person. Like, yes, yes, that's always good, but that doesn't mean you have to be single, okay? That just means be able to stand on your own and to have your own personal and financial independence. Focus on that here. I do see you guys gaining um, abundance here. Just make sure you have that financial independence. Um, for some of you I'm getting, make sure you have your own bank accounts, your own personal personal bank account you know you don't have to share everything with your partner all right guys and let me pull some more cards here for you reach out guys it's okay if you need help reach out. If you feel alone, reach out to your friends, reach out to those who care about you and love you. You know, sometimes we, we all need to be held. We all need to be told, I love, you know, that someone loves us. <laughs> um, reach out. It's okay. Just that'll mean different things for each of you. For some of you, it's reach out for just help in any way. And for others of you, it's reach out for affection. You know, call your friends. gentleness gentleness strength is gentle true kindness has wings love and action endures strength true strength is gentle guys i think that message is pretty clear there And I feel like you guys are building your way and making your way to the top, okay? Especially in career. And with this card, I feel like you're going to be building, climbing the ladder, building your way to success um, in a gentle way. Like, that's how you're going to win is by being gentle, by not being over-dominating or domineering or, you know, demanding or whatever the case is. Like, this is your secret to winning, okay? Is actually being gentle and kind, but, you know, exuding that strong, that, that gentle strength. Enjoy your life like a child does. Bring some of that child, childish playfulness back into your life. Lighten up, guys. It's time to lighten up, to smell the roses, smell the flowers, and allow your childlike behavior to be shown you know don't be so uptight <laughs> it's okay it's okay and it's we all need to play we all need to play a little bit soul scrying so right now is the time for you guys to really look deep within your your emotions and look within yourself and see be true to how you feel be honest with yourself about how you feel don't deny your emotions accept your emotions explore your emotions and um also there's some part of yourself that that um 
this wanted to jump out <laughs> there's some part of yourself that you're denying like some part of yourself that you deny and reject and maybe you may not be aware of that so you know do some some work here and look deep within yourself and figure out what that is so this card jumped out reconsider so i'm gonna pull a card to clarify for these because reconsider and unlikely what is this about and no okay so there's some strong energy here that's telling you hey it's almost like a warning sign like hey reconsider something is unlikely here and no so i feel like we need to find out what this is let me clarify these that was really interesting they're like all on the same wavelength this is on the bottom of the deck look for a sign but remain positive because that's under here remain positive but i feel like hmm what is it that aries needs to reconsider here <laughs> this is another card saying reconsider contemplate you know weigh out your options think about things it's meditate you need to meditate so it's telling you you need to meditate on something on some sort of decision Let's see, what is unlikely here for Aries in April of 2018? Wow, for some of you, it's unlikely that you're going to have um, as much emotional fulfillment as you might imagine in a specific direction. What is a no? wow so the devil energy here some of you may be obsessed with a specific outcome and you think the specific outcome is going to be like um like it's going to bring you this like you're you have your mind set on a specific outcome that you feel is going to bring you unconditional love but you're obsessed with that outcome and also this could be in regards to a relationship that's toxic that you want the relationship to be, you know, unconditionally loving, but it's unlikely that it will that it will be. Because it's toxic. Yeah. Yep. I see you guys having stress about it. Wow, this like was a very big curveball in your reading, guys. <laughs> Let's see. And it, obviously it's a general reading, but I feel like this is going to resonate with a lot of you. So there's some situation here that you need to reconsider. And it's possibly a relationship. You need to meditate and really think about it. But I feel like I see you staying up late at night worrying about it. It's causing you a lot of stress like and sadness. But it's unlikely. It's unlikely that you're going to get this unconditional love from this person or the situation um because there's like there's no hope you know like you feel like there's finally hope but maybe the other person feels like there's no hope for it like no way to revive it you know and it's probably a no because it's an unhealthy relationship and a false love offer like like maybe the other person is like you know giving you a love offer and saying like hey we can work this out but it's unhealthy and maybe they want to work it out but it won't work out because it's an unhealthy relationship that's not for all of you this is just a very very general reading but this is a specific message for a few of you out there and it came through pretty strongly either way look for a sign and remain positive and have trust because then you'll have the new energy of yes Okay, I feel like then you're going to shift into a higher energy and you're going to shift into a much better place. But you need to like look for a sign, still remain positive. I know that was a total curveball. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and pull some more advice cards. Yeah, endings, beginnings, cycles. So some of you are ending some karmatic cycles here whether it's with another person or just karmatic cycles within your own self and your own life your own karmatic patterns um there's endings to those and beginnings of, of better places beginnings of better things in your life beginnings of better cycles rebirth you have regeneration rebirth here 
You are divinely protected and guided. So everything's going to end up fine. You guys are going to be fine. But I do feel like anxiety. You guys, like I feel like you guys feel anxiety. Turn on your heart. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. So if you don't feel this true love in your life right now, think on a moment when you did feel it and allow your heart to feel that energy, guys. It's healing for your heart. And reach for the stars. Reach for the stars, guys. You can take a picture of this. I'm only going to read part of it for you. I'm going to read the top and the bottom. So this little middle section here. You can take a picture of that if you want to read it. But I'm going to read the top and bottom for you. Watch for the window of opportunity. Seize the moment and take action. If you have drawn this card, you are being called to watch for your guides to direct you toward your window of greatest opportunity. Prepare and begin your step-by-step -step process toward your goal. I feel like a lot of you guys, you know, some of you guys may be becoming single here in the near future. And your advice is, yeah, that is the best path for you to be financially and um, personally independent. That's your advice here. And to focus on your career because there's a new opportunity coming here that's going to bring in new money. It's going to bring in wealth. Okay, so your main focus this month needs to be on your career <laughs> is, is the biggest thing because there's some huge shift some huge opportunity coming in for you but you need to focus on your career now in order to take all the proper steps to enter this new portal for you guys all right that is your april 2018 reading i hope that made sense for you guys um if you want to book a personal reading you can do so and you can do that by going to www.theenchantedone.com or you can go ahead and um, book that through the link down below i have a description i have that in the description box for you you guys have a stellar day